children to say someday you when you get ahead of us we want you to turn around and recognize us and so on but to uh, add on to the information about the holy people and, and the relationship we as individuals have with the, the holy people we must express gratitude to them <laughs> Atahanjata is a word that we was used by our old people to uh, instruct us on some of the responsibilities we've had as the neh as we progress through life, as we journey through life. It's kind of uh, explained, I guess, in English. Atahanjata is uh, reference to when you journey through life, you're going to get ahead of uh, the old people. And uh, at some point on your journeying ahead of them, they want you to turn around and recognize them and to know that they are there and to be able to uh, maybe assist them in some way. But uh, that's the uh, understanding that many of our Diné have. And so when they send their children to school or to any kind of training for a career, they uh, encourage them to say, by saying to them, And so the original meaning of a Tahanjata applied to ourselves and our relationship with the holy people. Now, the holy people are the, uh, the makers, the givers, the people that uh, we say are our parents. It is that uh, when we talk about the holy people, there is one supreme holy being, and then the other holy beings are the ones that assist in doing various uh, things among the five-fingered being. So it is that... Uh, at some point, even the holy people, as you journey through life, they want you to turn around and uh, recognize that the holy people have given you what you have. They have assisted you in achieving the various goals, and they want you to recognize and express your gratitude by uh, doing the things that they have instructed you to continue doing. That was the original meaning of a tahanjata. But today, we seem to have uh, a lot of our people recognize it as just assigning their children to say someday, you're, when you get ahead of us, we want you to turn around and recognize us, and so on. But to uh, add on to the information about the holy people and, and the relationship we as individuals have with the, the holy people, we must express gratitude to them for all of the help and the assistance that they gave us. And when we can say to the holy people, thank you for letting me experience joy. Thank you for uh, allowing me to have happiness. Thank you for helping me to build up my confidence and help me. And thank you for having me understand the nature of peace. And so when you can say that to the holy people, then you have expressed your gratitude in the way that the traditional teaching was originally given. But it's also just very important to recognize and say, thank you, mom and dad. Thank you, aunt and uncle. Thank you, grandparents. Thank you, siblings, for helping me to achieve my, my uh, goals and that and to get an education and get a career and, and uh, have been able to do the things I've been able to do for myself. And so gratitude is very important, not only to the people here on the surface of Mother Earth, but also to the supreme beings and the holy people. And those are the things that we are told. Yeah,